हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल कैनेडा पी आर वी होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रीट डू यू नो मेडिकल टेस्ट आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर रफली टू लैक एप्लीकन सिकी कैनेडियन वीजाज इन दिस एपिसोड विल टॉक अबाउट द लेटेस्ट कैनेडा इमिग्रेशन अपडेट्स सो टू गेट ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन पे अटेंशन एंड वॉच द वीडियो थ्रू टू दी एंड प्लीज द लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू पुश द नोटिफिकेशन बैक फॉर अपकमिंग एपिसोड्स सो विदाउट एनी फॉर द डिले लेट्स जम्प इन टू द वीडियो The Canadian government has stated that about 1 lakh 80,000 candidates for temporary and permanent residency who are currently in the nation would not be required to complete medical tests. So that is a piece of uh, amazing news. CN Fraser, Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship made the same announcement earlier this week on Twitter. He added that certain requirements must be met for applicants for permanent and temporary residence who are already in Canada to be exempt from immigration medical examination. He also added that more than 180,000 applications in Canada will benefit from this new measure's ability to speed up processing. Uh, IRCC has implemented a temporary public policy that exempts uh, some low risk uh, in Canada foreign citizens from submitting an immigration medical examination as part of their implementation when their prior IME has expired according to a notice published in the official government journal as a result application will be processed more swiftly enabling qualified foreign nationals to easily gain temporary or permanent resident status now who are exempt an updated or current application for a permanent resident visa permanent residence permit or temporary residency made from within canada completed a recent immigration medical examination and presented no risk to public health or safety or as needed submitted to public health authorities for monitoring However, while submitting the new application, the applicants must provide the special medical identity number from their prior medical examination. The deadline for this is October 6, 2024. The candidates who are not qualified under this interim public policy must nevertheless submit to an IME following standard health screening protocols. Those who are not qualified for the exemption will be contacted by IRCC to explore their options. Every year the IRCC publishes a new plan year that uh, details the estimated number of immigrants uh, Canada expects uh, to receive over the next 3 years and further breaks down each immigration category and program. The immigration level plans express entry goal for 2022 is 55,900 new permanent residents. Through express entry programs Canada has thus far accepted slightly over 28,000 new permanent residents between January and August 31st. That is all we have for today in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the entire episode. Uh, hopefully the information is useful to you guys. See you later in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.